father was in the big strike? Yeah. Roberto Ramirez? Yeah. Hey, your grandfather? My grandfather. I know him well. Where did you guys live? Yeah, I knew him well. So do we need to pay for it? You guys live together? Yeah, he was a scaler at that time. And then, then he went low and shore. Um, did you call him Pops? No. No? Was that his nickname? What was no. his nickname? No, I, I just called him Mr. Ramirez. Oh, Mr. Ramirez? <laughs> Why? It's just a matter of respect, I guess. Did you guys live in San Pedro? Yeah. Did you live in San Pedro with him? Yeah. Yeah, we we had a like an apartment, and we shared the the groceries and the rent. Me and my brother and him. Yeah. It's hard time. Hard time. Hard times. Was he uh, was he very much with the union? Was was he with the union? Did he uh, was he always um, push for the union? Well, yeah, he he, he fought in 1934 strike. 34. How do you count the union until 1937? That's when I became a, a union man. The skaters and then I went along shore and I worked in a shipyard too. Uh, what the head was the name of it? It was a local, I forget that. It was a union too. I always belonged to a union. Did he uh, tell you about the big strike? It was a lot of blood. A lot of blood? A lot of blood. Yeah. Because, like, for my leg, they would come over and, and cross a picket line. And it was a lot, of, a lot of blood. Did he tell you any stories? Huh? Did he tell you any stories, my grandfather, about the strike of 34? Did he get any fights? Yeah, he was he was he was on the on the front lines. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. You can imagine. Yeah, I didn't I didn't became a a, a member of a union until thirty seven, way after. But it was it was oh, it was rough. It was rough. Especially him, you know, thirty four strike. But <laughs> we we won them. It was real, real rough. It took me years, years to find this. A lot of years. It took, it was a journey to get to this point, to hear and to learn about my family history. Because it's really important. It's a good thing you kept all this. Very, very important. <coughs> it was hard to find. Yeah. I never knew him. I wish I did. Yeah, I know him well. Yeah, he he went to a lot of strike and and three or four strike. Oh yeah. <coughs> yeah, long time ago, long long time. Well, thank you. So we think you you keep all these. Very important. This is family.
Yeah. It's family. Yeah. It's family. I gotta find a wife first. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Alvarez. Thank you for helping me. It's a good thing to keep all this, you know. Very important, all this. I was too young to keep anything like this because I, I went on a strike, 36, 37 strike. But I, I didn't keep any, any, any cars, picket cars. Uh, you know, I moved from house to house and uh, it, I get lost, get lost. But it's a good thing you kept this. Very important. Yeah. Well, the, it's history. Yeah, Mila. I'm, I was just telling him, I have some of your cards, Dad. Yeah. That you put away. I do have some of them. I, I kept them and put them away. Support the ILW family. Yeah, it's family. Where you get all this? From these gentlemen right here? Yeah. That's the future. Bloody Thursday tomorrow, Blackie. And there you go. Yeah, you can. Oh, this history. <laughs> <laughs> 